day he goes out he doesn't come back to the house he brings different ladies every day he sleeps with them even in my presence he doesn't even hide it wow so he does different with your child things. there yes sir so, my, my friend my friend my friend what do you want to friend? do you want to be her what, what is wrong with you do you know we are recording Welcome to another lovely episode of Relationship Court where people bring in their relationship and we talk about it. Some cases are settled, some cases are adjourned, and some cases even get worse. So today we have a, we like to be a lovely case, a very critical case to settle, and we are hoping this case gets settled. So we have, I have seated right beside me, who? Mercy. So we have Mercy. Mercy has brought a case to Relationship Court for us to talk about, and... It's a case where she's recently wedded and her husband is absolutely irresponsible. He doesn't take care of her. He doesn't provide for the family. So we're going to be hearing in details what Mercy has to say about her family. Her husband, rather. So, Mercy, over to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Mercy. Okay. I came to report my husband to the courts because the, I'm really facing a loss in the house and I can't, I can't continue. So I think I need help. I met him from my mom's shop when he usually comes there to buy things. And he was very nice then. He usually dashes me money and he takes me out. So at the process, I I found out I was pregnant and... So he, it means... How old were you then? I was, I was 17 then. 17? Yes, sir. Wow. And when I found out I was pregnant, so I told him about the pregnancy, he, he wasn't happy from when he heard about it. He was angry and sad. So I, I told him he refused. So he asked me to remove the baby, asked me to do abortion. Wow. So I told his dad about it and the dad said I shouldn't worry, he's going to work on it okay. and he's going to talk to him. So I think his dad spoke to him to marry me and later we got married. Then from when we married... So, did he willingly get married to you? Yes, sir. He willingly? No, no, he wasn't happy. He, was, he didn't want to marry me. Okay. Like, he wasn't happy. He doesn't even like me. From when I told him I was pregnant, he started developing hatred for me. Are you serious? And he doesn't even like me. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't pick my horse. So, okay, after his dad spoke to him, he, he started, he, he changed a little bit. Okay. Then from but, but what does he do? He's a, he's a carpenter. He does oh. furniture work. Okay. So from when we had our wedding after Maybe our marriage, him, 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 he wants to play. Okay, so we can hear you. After our marriage, from after the day we wedded, the next day he goes out. He doesn't come back to the house. Mm. The way he dresses, the way he dresses every blessed day, he leaves the house. We won't see him the next day. The next time he'll come, he comes with ladies to the house. He does. Wait, everything. he comes to with ladies to your matrimonial home. Yes, sir. How big is your house? It's just a room self. Wow. He brings different ladies every day. He sleeps with them even in my presence. He doesn't even hide it. Wow. So he does different With your child there? Eh? Yes, sir. Wow. He does different things that I can't even explain. So I I am tired and the whole issue beats me everywhere. He doesn't even care in public, in the house. He, I have lots of injuries. I can even show you some pictures wow. on my phone. The beatings he has given to me. So I can't, I'm tired of everything. He doesn't take care of my son. He doesn't care if he goes to school. He doesn't care about our feeding. So I brought his report to the court so you guys can assist him. So, okay, so what do you, what exactly do you want the court to do? Is it that you want to leave or what do you want? I'm not really tired of the marriage. So I... You're not tired case. of an abusive marriage? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, I, so what do you want? I came to the court so that they can help me to, uh, like, talk to him. If he can be taking care of my son, pay his school fees and his feeding, I'm okay with it. I can manage on my own. Then you can manage with him. can decide to beat me. Yes, I can decide to beat me. Even if he kills me, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. So are you doing are you doing that because of your child? Or because you still love him or what? I'm actually doing that because of my child and I still love him and Another thing is, I'm, I just found out I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant again, I don't know. I just found out recently. Hmm. Okay. So, audience, you've heard her. So, there's always two sides of a story. 
her side, we need to hear her husband's side before we we give our opinions, we know what to say. We don't just want to jump into conclusions. So we need to hear if all she's saying is the truth. So your husband is here, right? Yes, sir. Please, can you invite her husband? You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Okay, so welcome to Relationship Court. So as you know, I know we reached out to him. He was not even sure why, why we called him here. But I, I personally persuaded him to come to this. I only give him a slight hint and thank you for coming. So the major issue why we brought you here is that your wife brought you to this is the Relationship Court where we talk about, we try to settle relationship issues. Yes, we we'll, we'll give our opinions and we hope it gets settled. So your wife brought you here to, to tell us how she feels you're not taking care of the home well, you don't provide for her, you beat her up, you know, you don't you don't you don't provide money for feeding and how badly how you bring women home too. Excuse me. You mean my this woman God, my my friend my friend my friend my friend. My friend. He wants to beat her. What, what is wrong with you? Uh, uh, do you know we are recording? Sit down. She, you brought me here to disgrace me. Eh? You brought me here to disgrace me, Abi. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm listening to you. Okay, so we've heard a side of the story. So I want to find out this thing she's saying. She said you don't provide for the home as a man. Me, me, I don't provide for the home. I don't provide for her. I don't provide for my baby. Me. You don't provide for my friend. Will you keep quiet? No, no. Will you keep quiet? You want to beat her up? What nonsense? Let her calm down. So, do you say you give her money for feeding? Yes, of course. Is it I don't give her money every month money. now. You're lying. You give her money. Me. You're lying. Like how much? You don't give us money. Alright, calm down, calm down. So, uh, like how much do you give her monthly for feeding? I they give her like fifteen k, twenty k, monthly. Fifteen k. I mean, they try as a man. Hmm. Then she come carry me, get my carry me, come for this. My, my fear me, well, well. Calm down, calm down. Fear me, oh. So is it true he gives you fifteen to twenty thousand? So he doesn't give me any money. He doesn't, the only thing he does is to steal my own. He doesn't give me any money. Ah. He steals my money. When I look for money, I'm, I complain. He starts beating me. He doesn't give me money. So how, how do you get money? What do you do to get money? I do some cleaning works. Uh, like when I have people that want to sell markets, I sell for them. Mm. And some people that need uh, cleaners clean in their house. houses. You go to their house. I go to their house, clean and whatever they, put me, they pay me, I bring it to the house. Sometimes I even use the money to feed him. And you the little one I So keep, wait, keep wait, wait. I know they give you money. Don't give us money. I know they give you money. You Calm give us money. I know they give you money. Sit down. You're already giving us a feeling here. They're giving us a feeling. Uh, oga, 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 sit Oga, listen to me. No way, I take down. care of my sit wife. I take care of my baby. Sit down and talk. So I don't know the nonsense she's saying here. Sit down and talk, Oga, sit down. I'm sitting down talking to you like a gentleman now. So you to sit down and talk to me. Let's reason together. We came here for settlement. And you're already lunging. What if you are not here? He's already proving some of our allegations true now. You're already lunging at her. As if you want to beat her up. What if I was not here as a barricade? Hmm? So he claims he gives you money. So how about the allegation of you bringing women to your matrimonial home? Where your child? What do you have to say about that? Because I don't know how that... I don't know how that sounds. The pe Let me tell you something. The people that followed me to my house, they are my friends. Do you understand? These are my friends. Female friends. Sometimes it's because they, they, maybe they want me to do one thing or the other. And they've not gotten it. So uh, I need to bring them to the house where I stay. So that they will not know that, okay, this is where I stay. And then we discuss business. This is business you are talking about. And Whatever she's saying, right here, I'm not sure she's normal. That's Wait, do they, do they sleep over in your house? She sleeps with them. My friends! My friends! Come! What the 
this woman. Oga, okay, calm down now. Calm down. You bring you bring females to discuss business in your matrimonial home. Omo is really is really. So you carry me come here, come there, disgrace me for this place, Abi. Oga, okay, calm down. Now what did you carry me come here? But if I know saying I hear, you carry me come, I know come. You are here already. Let's try to settle. Let's try to settle. At least when you saw me, when you heard my voice, you said you knew me. So yes, calm down. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So calm down and listen to me. At least for the fact you said, okay, you liked my, you watch my content and everything. So calm down and listen to me. Okay. So um, it's how to move forward that we are talking about. So I want to know these things she's saying, with all indications, is kind of sounding true. Yes, but I don't see a reason why. You bring ladies to your matrimony and they sleep over. And you say you're discussing business. Yes, this, this is quite clear. So, and luckily your, your wife is still saying that she's still ready to keep up with the marriage. So now we are here to now see reason how we can move forward. How can we move forward? So before I keep giving my opinions, I would like to hear two or three opinions from the audience. So what do you think about this situation here? What do you think about it? And how can we move forward? So is, does anybody want to say anything? Okay. Madam, did you love him? Yes, ma'am, I do. Olga, you love her? Love? Yes. This woman, this woman, this woman needs to leave my house. Okay, he's mad that you did not love her, Abby. But when you are knocking now, you know. <laughs> Then now you are saying you did not love her. I love her. I used to love her. You used to love her. That was she there. She but now you didn't love her again. Did you realize she's pregnant again? She's carrying your baby and you are saying you did not love her. Pregnant? Did she tell me? Did you tell me you are pregnant? She said she's I actually pregnant. Out. You just found out. You and then you, 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 are, you, you are not saying you are house. pregnant right here. You don't come back. So to it, it is this place that gave you pregnant. How can I tell you? I'm sorry, you sorry, Olga. How will she tell you when you did not even give her audience? That is one. Better go and look for the man that, okay. that, that got you pregnant. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not sure it's me. <laughs> okay, so um, so I want you to prefer a solution. Let's not don't throw blames. Okay, so somebody else should speak and prefer a solution. Okay, let's. What I have to say in this matter is that Auntie, you are not pregnant. Please, you've seen that your husband is not ready to change. You know you're pregnant. That's the second mistake you made. <coughs> Initially, when you found out you were pregnant and he was not ready to marry you until the dad talked him into marrying you, that's when you would have run self for your life. You would have run for your life because that was like the biggest red flag ever. But we understand, you know, disgrace from family and other. Your family will feel that maybe you disgrace them by bringing unwanted pregnancy. That's why you felt the need to marry. It's not too late. You're young and beautiful. Someone else might come for you. What I advise you to do is, our brother is not ready to change and he will continue beating you. So, you guys should find a way to settle. Go your way. Let him go his own way. Like for me, I think the best solution here is separation. Like you two should separate. If not, he will keep beating you. And if you die, it's your loss. You find another lady and marry. And his life will continue. So sister, run no, run for your dear life. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's what does anybody have a, a different a different point of view? Is it the same thing? Is it very similar? I think it's very simple. Does anybody have something very different? Okay, so before you came, she's already saying she's willing to continue with the marriage. Even though you kill her, just take care of her child and her unborn baby. Yes, that's what she said, to the shock of everybody. But I'm asking you now, because from all indications, most of, I won't say everything she said was the truth, but most of the things she said can to the largest and be confirmed as the truth. She even said she has pictures on her phone of where she was beat up by you. So, are you willing to change? Do you think this marriage can work? Or should everybody go their separate ways? Do you think this marriage can work? Because to me, an abusive marriage is a no-no. It's a no-no. So do you think this marriage can work? Or you, you, you so despise her that she should go her way and leave you alone? So let's know so that we can move forward. 
Let everybody go there separately. I will take care of my kids. You will take care of your kid. But this woman claimed that you don't even any his needs. She buys him his diapers and everything with her own money. So will she? How would you take care of your kids? I used to provide. I provide for her and the baby. Like I said earlier, I used to give them money. I give her money every month. You don't give me money. My friend. My friend. Me money. My friend. You're lying. My you don't friend. Give me money. So we'd like to know what you people really want. As it stands now, your wife is pregnant again. She's pregnant. She didn't tell me about that. But okay, now you know. Now you know. But you said she, she doesn't even touch it. So how comes you are getting pregnant again? If he doesn't have money to pay to his girlfriend, he comes to me when he comes back to the house. Those are the days he comes back to the house. He doesn't even come back. So wait, you are saying the random girls he brings is whenever he doesn't have money. He doesn't have money to pay them. To they pay are them. He carries to the house. He doesn't ah. have money to pay them. That is when he comes back to me. So those girls are showers? Yes, sir. So whenever he doesn't have... I shall kill you there! Sometimes he steals my money to pay them, sir. Me! He doesn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One more. Yeah. Oga, where, where do you think? I think we should, this, this relationship, you guys should come to a, a resolution now. So, at this stage, I'm surprised she's still willing to stay in an abusive relationship like this. So, <laughs> are you willing to make this thing work? I want her to leave my house. I can't leave your I house. want no you must leave my house. I can't leave your house. You must leave you must leave from here. You are not, not coming back to that house today. You have not been supporting us. You my friend, will you keep quiet? I can't go anywhere. Will you keep quiet? I can't go anywhere. Just a useless man. You're not me useless. useless. Me useless. Yes. You're not a useless. Me useless. Me useless. useless man. That's what I'm saying. Me That's me what I'm saying. That's the way you build your home. I'm used to your character. I'm used to you building this house with that house. What is wrong with you? Come back to that house today. I'm not going anywhere. I will not leave your house. Oh, this is serious, so this is very, very serious. See, I'm sweating. So, um, uh, <laughs> before I say, before I say anything, does anybody have anything to say? <laughs> Let me give somebody one opportunity to say something. Said, what advice to her specifically before they say Zix? This is advice Zix is giving somebody. Okay, let him, let him speak. So, madam, I will tell you to leave the marriage because this is absolutely abusive, you know. Marriage. There's no how you be in a marriage where a man will be beating you and you still be there because you love the man. I would advise to leave the marriage and go. Okay, um so before I conclude, I want to say is it is it because of fear of finance or what? Or you just love him, that's why you want to keep staying in the marriage. Because personally I want to help. I personally want to help. Yes. If it's to support you financially, but I personally don't think you should be in that relationship. Because he's literally attacking you openly, on record. So I can imagine when you guys are behind closed doors. Because if, if you keep staying, insisting you are staying in the marriage, and he kills you, 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 you are staying because of a child, is it not? Yes, sir. According to you. If he kills you, Uncle, who will, if he kills you, there are two things that will happen. You are gone, he's in prison. Who, who, who does your child stay with? Somebody, a random person that could be abusive on your child too. So my advice is for you to leave. I can offer to support you financially. I can offer personally. I will support you. I will train your child up to university level. Yes. I will train your child up to university level. I will get you an accommodation. Wow. Your separate accommodation. Thank you, sir. Yes. I'll support you to start a business and everything. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy. Thank you so much, sir. So I really, really appreciate it. What is your decision? Or you want I'll, to think about it? I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. It's okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yes, calm down. I wouldn't want her to rush because I've seen situations like this where you force the person into making the decision and before you know you, the person calls you back and says, no, I'm not, 
that thing you said, I can't leave you, no matter the offer you make. So, I'll, you can talk to your parents, if your parents are still there, I don't know. But my offer still stands. As you are living here, you still have your details, I'll contact you. Yes. And we'll ensure that all these things are done. Yes. We'll ensure that all these things are done. And anybody who wants to also support, I'm sure the person will be game to support. Yes, we ensure that you are comfortable. Trust me on that. I don't, I don't, I don't just give watery words. I don't give watery statements. I do what I say. Yeah. So, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Yes, man. and we hope it keeps getting better. So, thank you for watching another episode of Relationship Court. As you see, how this this issue went. Thank God we saw such an abusive marriage. So you, you wouldn't say it hasn't helped. It has helped, and we know how to step in and help her. Because a lot of her are in abusive marriages are going through a lot in their relationship because of some typical African mentality. Yeah, because they don't want people say what my parents say. Uh, oh, I'm scared of not be, uh, of being single, and people be laughing at me. You don't leave your husband. So this is a platform where we learn, we help people. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and keep watching because. We've been getting lots of emails. If you hear stories, if you hear people's stories, I was reading emails. I was like, are some of these emails real? Are they from real people? And yes, they are. They are. So make sure you subscribe and you keep watching AJ Studios. See you again next week.